So the White House administration has announced that they've collected more evidence on the alleged chemical attack in Syria. In fact, Secretary of State, the top foreign diplomat for President Obama's administration, John Kerry, saying uh, he's pushing the administration to build a broader coalition both at home and abroad. Now that the U.S. has evidence that sarin gas was used, Nathan King has more from Washington. I think the president's made a very courageous. But, sir, and, if, and I, I if think I, Congress if I, and the American may, people should welcome this. The votes aren't there. Kicking off a week of lobbying, the U.S. Secretary of State took to the airwaves to push the administration's case in a bid to build broader coalitions at home and abroad. It also gives us time to reach out to allies, friends around the world, build support uh, on an international basis. And I think ultimately we can proceed, the president can proceed, and our nation can proceed from a much stronger position. We're not considering any boots on the ground approach. The U.S. administration also began behind the scenes briefings of U.S. representatives on the intelligence of the alleged chemical attack and announced more evidence. We now have evidence from hair and blood samples from, uh, from first responders in East Damascus, uh, the people who came to help. We have, uh, we have uh, signatures of sarin in their hair and blood samples. So the case is growing stronger by the day. Various U.S. lawmakers also took to the TV screens to indicate that there will be a tough fight ahead. I would say if the president cannot make his case to Congress, then it's not going to pass. So I believe when that case is made, uh, and it's not only made to Congress but to the American public, I believe that we will rally behind the principle that use of chemical weapons is wrong and it can't go unpunished. Though a U.S. attack may now be delayed, it is far from cancelled. The U.S. president says he still has the authority to act alone, even without congressional approval. If he gets their backing, he is certain to strike, and many more Syrians are set to flee Damascus between now and the week of September 9th. Those briefings are set to go on all week, and the president himself is pushing the case. Monday, he's set to meet with the powerful Senator John McCain, who has long pushed for a more robust American presence in Syria. There will also be plenty of U.S. lawmakers telling the president that they want the U.S. to stay out of Syria. Some tough days of arm-twisting ahead. Nathan King, CCTV, Washington.